friends to beautiful Nose Hill Park in Calgary, the fourth largest urban park in all of Canada. Isn't that exciting? Nose Hill Park is home to 66 species of native vascular plants, including prairie oat grass, prairie crocus, golden beans, and even sage grass. Excuse me, what are you doing in my house? And who are you talking to? Wow, Nose Hill sure is full of surprises. Mongoose aren't actually native to Canada. How did you get here, little guy? You're not native to my house. Get out of here. Fascinating. You're not an ordinary mongoose at all. How did you survive the harsh, cold winters of the Great White North? I'm not going to tell you that. I don't know you. Oh, how rude of me. I'm sorry. My name is Dr. Michael Hill, a PhD. I'm a conservationist, cryptozoologist, and an avid bird watcher. And not a bad one if I do say so myself. I bet you see a lot of beautiful birds up here on Nose Hill. Listen here, you devil. That's for me to know and for you to get out of here immediately before I start getting mad. I'm not evil, but I could be if you keep pushing me. I'm a ghost in the form of a weasel. You don't know what kind of damage or harm I could do. Mickey. I might even drop a brick on you in your sleep. I could haunt you with weird noises and clanking chains or turn you into a pillar of salt. I could split your atoms in twain. I am the fifth dimension. I'm the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Sorry. Whew. Must have been holding on to that for a while. It's been decades since I've had guests. Wait, how did you find my home? Human beings shouldn't be able to perceive it. What do I call you, my little furry friend? You can call me Jeff, but we're not friends. I'm just letting you stay until I grow tired of your presence. Well, Jeff, you can call me friend whenever you'd like. <gasps> Maybe this is a good time for us to stop for a word from our sponsors. Uh, who are you talking to me? Isn't it amazing that a simple method of sun gazing during safe hours can restore balance and harmony in the Welcome back. Now, where were we? Oh, right, talking about beautiful Nose Hill Park. One of my favorite things about Nose Hill is that it is home to over 198 species of animals. And me. Yes, and you, Jeff. Nose Hill very likely gets its name from the fact that, from certain angles and with a little imagination, it looks like a nose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Valerie won't be my friend. Fantastic! I haven't seen a jackalope on the hill in years. Do you need some help, little friend? I don't see how you could ever help someone like me. I'm a loser. I know what you're thinking. Look at Kyle's tiny horn. He's the ugliest jackalope I've ever seen in my life. Tiny horns, Kyle? Is that what's wrong? Of course that's what's wrong. Can't you see how hideous I am? No one would ever want to be seen with the likes of me. Can you believe this clown? Out of all the things you could be worried about, you're whining about horns? Now, now, Jeff. Don't be rude to our special guest. It's our job to help him out. Kyle, Jackalope horns come in all shapes and sizes, and every jackalope is unique in their own way. <sighs> I guess I'm just unique in the ways that Valerie doesn't like. She never wants to frolic in the grass with me, no matter how many times I ask, or how many presents I bring her. She says she'd rather pick berries, but that's so boring. I'm sure she's just saying that so she never has to be seen with the likes of me. Everyone loves frolicking. Kyle, have you ever stopped to ask Mallory what she might like to do? Well, no. Why wouldn't she want to frolic? I love frolicking. I frolic through the fields every day. Maybe it would be a good idea to take a step back and go get out of your comfort zone. Try something new. 
jackalopes aren't always going to want to do what you want to do. And that's totally fine. Compromise is a very important part of a healthy friendship. Well, fine, I guess. But even if I did ask her what she wanted to do, she still wouldn't actually like me because I'm ugly and my horns are tiny. This is a real issue here and there's nothing anybody can do to change that. Kyle, I don't think you're ugly, Kyle. I think you're just projecting a lot of negative emotions of your own onto other people. I think you need to take a step back from yourself for a second and consider Mallory's place in this friendship. As we all know, friendship is a two-way street. <sighs> Do you think it's fair to Mallory that she carry both the emotional baggage? Right now, it seems like you're the one receiving all of her free emotional labor without giving anything in return. If you want to keep Mallory around, you're going to have to think about what you're putting her through and how much of the emotional weight of the relationship you're carrying. She isn't required to stay with you through all this self-loathing, Kyle. No one is. And that's just a fact of life. Isn't that right, Jeff? What? What? Yeah, sure, why not? See, even Jeff agrees. Well, maybe. You might have a point, but where would I even start? I have an idea, everyone. Let's use the examogram to give Kyle a boost of self-esteem, to help him with his relationships and his emptiness that he feels deep, deep inside. All right, Kyle, how about you point out all the things you love about yourself? Hmm, I guess I have a beautiful soft coat of fur. It keeps me warm in the winter and it helps me camouflage myself for predators. My legs are pretty good too. They let me run up to 40 kilometers an hour, you know. Oh, I sure did know. And don't forget that your milk has fantastic medicinal properties, curing everything from baldness to bunions. You're right. All right, that's enough of the sentimentality. Thanks, guys. I feel so much better now. See you later. So, what did we learn? You're right. Consideration and mutual respect go a long way. I'm so glad we were able to help another friend understand the value and joy of a healthy friendship. Great. We finally got that settled. I'm starting to realize that maybe the decades of peace and quiet weren't all that bad after all. Monkeys are solitary creatures, you know. Wait a minute, Jeff. Do you hear something? What are you even... Wait, what is that? We'll be right back after these uh, short messages. Stop all that screaming. Can't you see it's the Nose Hill Hubbler? They're an extremely skittish, nervous creature. You'll scare them away. Skittish? That thing is a monster. If you had any sense in your walnut head, you'd run before it eats us both. Look at it. It's already got a craving for blood. I bet it's already imagining what my insides taste like. Jeff, I'm disappointed in you. Being so rude to our special. Can't you tell? They're not feeling well. <coughs> well, looks like we're going to have to do this one without our friend Jeff. Okay, everyone. Let's all work together and see if we can help the hobbler. Take a look through the consultoscope. Time for a checkup. Can you spot the symptoms? You got it! Swollen bleeding gums, loose teeth, severe bruising, scaly gray skin, hair loss, as well as bleeding into the joints and muscles. Great job, everybody. It's so obvious we've got a classic case of scurvy on our hands. This poor creature must feel just awful. 
Let's see what the consultoscope has to say. Of course, scurvy is caused by a lack of vitamin C. Luckily, I've got just the thing. Here you go, buddy. This should help temporarily. It, is it gone? Never mind. You feeling better now? I'm sure that did you a world of good. <coughs> Gosh, that sure did hit the spot. I haven't had one of those in years. Sorry I scared your little friend there. I promise it wasn't on purpose. It's just... The swelling of my gums really did a number on my ability to converse adequately. It's safe to come out now. Our friend is completely harmless. You sure that freak isn't going to snap me in half like a pretzel? Oh, Jeff, don't be silly. This is the Nose Hill Hobbler, an endangered and completely herbivorous species. They wouldn't hurt a fly. I am truly sorry, my little herpestidae friend. How could I ever gain your forgiveness? Well, since you're no longer coughing up whatever that was all over my lawn, you don't seem all that bad, I guess. Just keep a few feet away from me and we should get along just fine. <laughs> I'm so happy to see that you two are friends now. But Hobbler, maybe we should think about some longer term solutions to keep this from happening again in the future. I can show you how to get a good supply of vitamin C moving forward that your body requires. Everyone follow me, and everyone at home, feel free to follow along, as long as you have parental supervision. Sometimes, I felt so fatigued and sad I couldn't get out of bed. Then, I started urine therapy, and everything changed. Welcome to the Remedy Room. Here, we have everything we need to help the hobbler to create a balanced and nutritious diet. All I see here is a bunch of pine needles. How is that going to help anyone? Well, you see, Jeff, these pine needles have been used as a delicious treat that packs a vitamin-filled punch for generations. Treat? Don't mind if I do. You said these were delicious. All I'm tasting is grass and stabbing pain. Oh, Jeff, if you'd let me finish, I could have told you it makes a delicious treat when it's boiled in tea. Maybe you should have spoken a little quicker. You know how I get around snacks. Anyway, Jeff, let's get back to helping our guest. As you probably know, Nose Hill was only recognized as a protected area about a decade ago. So the hobbler probably remembers when people could drive their cars through this place. Indeed. That was a frightening time for my family and I. There was a time when we couldn't even settle down for a peaceful dinner without having to run from a pickup truck barreling through our valley. Unfortunately, the, the protections came too late and land development had eliminated most of our, our, our main food source, the Nose Hill Noseberry. This winter has been especially tough. You're telling me, when I first got here, I couldn't believe how little there was left to eat. Lucky for me, I prefer to scavenge public garbage cans for human leftovers. Well, it's times like this that it must be very convenient to be a special mongoose. Sadly, the hobbler has not been quite so lucky. Hobblers require a balanced diet of fruit and vegetables, just like you and me. If you were to internalize unhealthy fictions about masculinity and testosterone, if you felt compelled to bulk up using protein powder in order to fulfill some impossible to reach idea of what it is to be a real man. You might find yourself switching to a diet of, oh, I don't know, only beef. You too would develop scurvy, despite what some people posing as experts might say. It's time we finally put to rest the debate about vitamin C. Self-help life hacks and shifting goals won't help you when you finally look in the mirror after two hours of horrific, horrific diarrhea and realize that maybe being aggressively masculine isn't a personality trait. 
and that you're actually totally alone in the cold, dark prison that you yourself have constructed. <laughs> oh, that's the tea. Now we just have to let it steep a little while. You know, Hobbler, I gotta apologize. When I first met you, I only saw a bloodthirsty monster who was coming to strip the flesh off my bones. I never thought that you could be suffering from a terrible disease. I was only thinking of myself. But now that I've gotten to know you, I see we have more in common than I ever thought. You asked me for my forgiveness, but I'm the real bird brain. Well, Jeff, let's call it even. Over a cup of this nourishing and delectable tea. Let's go home. Thank you for this wonderful recipe. I'm starting to feel better already. You're very welcome. If you keep making it regularly, your symptoms should clear up in no time. Well, I appreciate your kindness, but it is getting late. I really must go home. Thank you. Feel free to stop by any time. Goodbye, Hobbler. Now, wasn't that fun? What a productive day. We really learned something. You said it. I sure did learn so much. Thank you, Mick. I mean, Michael. No worries. It's what I'm here for. Now, how about we go over our favorite parts of the day? What about you, friends? What were your favorite parts? <laughs> yes, I like that part, too. My favorite part was when all the friends that we made. Like Kyle, we showed him the importance of carrying your own weight. Isn't the world just a little bit better now that we've done these things? Yeah, that was great to see them so happy. My favorite part was helping the hobbler find an accessible source of vitamin C. Because as we all know, vitamin C is key to maintaining a balanced and healthy diet. You said it, Jeff. And friends, remember, explore your local municipal conservation areas and parks. You never know who you might meet along the way. And that's all the time that we have for today. Join me next week from somewhere else in the Great White North. Bye! Hey, don't forget about me. You can't just leave your friend behind.